Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GK Mix. In this video, I am going to talk about Hoffman rearrangement or Hoffman degradation. Okay, that means uh, here degradation means here there is CO group, okay, carbonyl group. So this will leave the system, okay, up to when it gives the product that is the amine. So from amide, one amine forms. How? In presence of bromine, that is halogen, or in presence of chlorine, okay and in along with the sodium hydroxide that is a base in presence of water okay so what will be the reaction mechanism what are the things that will control the reaction i am gonna uh, discuss about that okay so this reaction we call hoffman rearrangement that is rearrangement some kind of rearrangement will occur and also some kind of degradation will occur okay so along with uh, i mean some other products are obtained that is called of course size side product that is not necessary for us Okay, so here one important thing I want to discuss about that when CO that leaves the system, it will leave like remember this one. You may face this kind of question in uh, entrance examination as MCQs as CO3 2 minus. Okay, so this will leave the system, the this system amide system, and to form the amine, this will leave as CO3 2 minus. Okay, and also this is a you can say primary amide not primary that means uh, amide is not like that so that is with nitrogen there should be at least two hydrogen attached okay if one other methyl or uh, other alkyl group is present then this uh, amide will not participate into Hoffman rearrangement or Hoffman degradation okay so if there should be uh, NH2 group over here and the product will uh, be the CO degraded product that is R NH2. So this will leave the system and wh what we get are NH2 that is the amine. Okay. So this will be the final product. So what will be the mechanism for that reaction? So let's talk about that. So first this is amine. Okay. Sorry this is amide and then first this base that is OH- minus from this base will come and attack to one of the hydrogen atom. Okay. Of the nitrogen so this is like that and then this hydrogen will deprotonate and one negative charge will form on nitrogen so what we get then this then NH then negative charge okay so this negative charge then will uh, this is of course resonance stabilized like that okay so again we will get the same two resonance structure but I am not drawing that so then this negative charge this negative charge on nitrogen will attack the bromine this one or chlorine whatever you have considered okay so this will take one bromine and beer minus will leave the system minus beer minus okay so now what will happen now we will get one product like that R C O N one hydrogen and another bromine clear so now this product this reaction is called this is uh, this product is called in bromo amide according to IUPAC rule of course N bromo amide okay so now this is called the base promoted N domination of amide why base promoted that is this is base the base promoted N domination that is domination occurs on the nitrogen atom so that's why it's called base promoted remember this one base promoted N domination N bromination of amide so this is the first step of the reaction okay so now let's talk about the second step so what will happen in the second step in the second step this n bromo uh, amide will react like that so r c o n one hydrogen another bromine then the reaction will be like the same so there will be like one base here also one base so then this base will attack the another hydrogen atom and one more negative charge will form on the nitrogen atom. So what we get, we will get this kind of product and which is also resonance stabilized. Okay, so now this uh, base removes another proton from the system and that will form of course uh, OH minus H uh, that is of course water leaves the system. Then this uh, product will form and then this kind of rearrangement will occur so what kind of rearrangement i am showing you it's very important that 
first these negative charge also that's also resonance stabilized so i am not showing the resonance stability you know about this so first these negative charge will be on that uh, will form one pi bond over here between uh, carbon and nitrogen and then this will go to the oxygen then it will come back then this r group will migrate from carbon to nitrogen atom and when it uh, comes to nitrogen atom so nitrogen one one bond two three it's almost three bond and this four so this will act as a living group okay because nitrogen has uh, balance three so it will form three bonds three pi are, uh, all uh, pi and sigma bonds total number of bonds will be three so this r will migrate over here on the nitrogen and then this br will leave the system so what we get finally we will get one product like this so i am drawing like the same co then here one two double bond there is four carbon four uh, bonds uh, uh, attached with the carbon atom and here nitrogen and here also r so co o c n r okay this is called you know this is called isocyanate isocyanate okay so this isocyanate will form in the uh, second step and finally in the third step we will get the product so how let's see now this isocyanate will give the product how so of course there is basic medium so o is minus is present so this o is minus will act will attack to this carbon in center and this kind of rearrangement will occur this one uh, the negative charge will form on the oxygen it will come back and this negative charge on the form will form on the nitrogen atom so what we get finally c double bond o here is o is, o is atom here is nitrogen the negative charge and then r okay so this will be the next product and finally this is also resonance stabilized you know like that way okay so finally what will happen this nitrogen will take as uh, in the system water water is present so from water this nitrogen will take proton and it will be protonated like that o is co nh and r okay so in the next step what will happen in the next step this kind of rearrangement will occur so of course water is present in the system so this bond will come right here this will be a uh, negative charge will be on on oxygen atom it will come back then this will be the final product so negative charge will form on the nitrogen atom and also nitrogen atom on the nitrogen atom lone pair is present this lone pair will take the proton and leaves the o is minus okay so what we get here so here will be the minus co2 that is co2 gas will uh, leave okay co2 will leave the system and what we get there is r there is n n one hydrogen over here another hydrogen that will that is this hydrogen okay that will attached with nitrogen over here and other products we will get so i am not considering the other products i am just considering the final product that is amine so what does it mean it means r n h 2 that is one amide amine so from an amide amine is uh, forming so this is reaction is overly called the hopman rearrangement or hopman degradation so why rearrangement because the rearrangement like r group will rearrange or uh, migrate from uh, carbon atom to nitrogen atom that's why it's called rearrangement or degradation means this co okay will uh, leave the system as co3 to minus okay so that's why it's rearrangement or degradation whatever you called uh, that's both are same so one important thing about this reaction is uh suppose these r groups okay these r group is chiral and suppose this has s configuration okay or like let me uh, write over here so it will be easy to see okay so suppose r co this is amide okay so this amide has one r group this and this will give the product this so if this r group is uh, chiral of course chiral and having configuration s s or s or r whatever so i am considering 
consider uh, the configuration is so we need to migrate to nitrogen of carbon atom to nitrogen atom like that way overall you know the reaction then the product what we, what we get the product in that product also this will retain the same configuration so that's why we are, uh, that's why this r group also have the s configuration not the r configuration so we will say they were here that uh, the here retention of uh, retention of configuration occurs okay so that's all about the hopman uh, rearrangement or hopman degradation and this overall reaction is uh, invented by scientist hopman so this that's why it's called re uh, rearrangement or degradation hopman degradation okay so that's all about this uh, amide 2 amine formation by degradation of uh, amide okay or degradation of uh, co from amide okay so that's all about this reaction and thank you thanks for watching